Coach Diaz, can you hear us? We can. Great. Uh, congratulations on the win, Coach. We can start maybe with an opening statement. We'll go into questions from our media who are on the call. Yeah, proud of the resiliency of our team. Um, App State is a really good football team. Uh, they made it tough on us. Uh, we made it tough on ourselves. Um, I can't I can't even count how many scoring opportunities we had where we were on, I think, inside their 40-yard line. Um, and because of our inability to get points in those situations, that kept them in the game. Uh, we also gave away 10 points in the kicking game. So it was all the things that, if from App State's perspective, that you would want uh, to be able to stay in the game. This is what they do. This is App State. They, they go on the road, and they take down people on the road. Um, but they didn't take us down. And that's because the defense, who I thought played outstanding all night, gave up one drive in the fourth. App took the lead, and uh, offense responded with a, a great drive to retake the lead. Andres Borgalis with a clutch kick. Guy was awesome in the fourth quarter. And, um, and as it turns out, all three phases did enough in the last six minutes of the game uh, to clinch a victory. With that, I'll do questions. Yeah, um, don't have the official word, so I'm not going to say anything for sure, but I know with uh, Don Chaney and Keontre, uh, neither initial prognosis was good. Uh, but like I said, we'll, we'll find out more uh, when guys get examined tomorrow. But, but it, was, uh, it was not good for both guys. Big losses for our team. Yeah, you know what you have, but you don't know what someone's going to do in that situation. To go in there in the fourth quarter like that, um, to bang out um, two clutch kicks that we had to have, um, that's, that's, that's pretty special. And uh, we don't want to put him in that situation as often, uh, that often, but you, to know that if you get in that spot, to have a guy that's got the confidence to make it. And I, I think the, ent the entire sideline believed that that kick was going to go in. Yeah, it was hard. Uh, it was a struggle uh, in the intermediate passing game. Um, had a hard time, you know, finding the open guys in the middle of the field. Um, as you mentioned, there were some passes that were batted down. We had some success going, uh, you know, going down the outside lanes, down the field. I thought some guys made some really good catches out there for him. Um, but it was tough. I think I think Derek admitted. I don't think you know, I, and he'll come in. And he'll talk to you. I don't think he felt like he was at his best tonight, uh, throwing the ball. Uh, but, but all that being said, we still marched the ball down the field enough times to put up a big number. Uh, we just couldn't get it done when we got down there. And that was uh, some self-inflicted errors, penalties on the short side of the field. Obviously, we had a touchdown call back on a, on a fourth and short. Um, you know, these are the things that, that we've got to get corrected as we get into um, the rest of our schedule. Yeah, from the field, it felt like uh, Nesta played very well, very disruptive, made a lot of plays in the backfield. Um, I don't have the stats in front of me. I think we outrushed him, um, and that's very hard to do against App State. Um, I, f I felt the run defense was really good. There was a couple, you know, a couple uh, mistakes where some misfits where a run got out. Um, but I, I was very pleased with how we defended the run. We took a team that, that prides themselves on running stretch and just running stretch on everybody. And they came, they started running a bunch of other stuff. They started running counters. I mean, things they had not shown at all a year ago. So. Um, you know, I, I think they felt that they couldn't get their bread and butter going against us. And, uh, and I think, I th again, I thought our front seven versus the run game, um, you know, did a really nice job. I, th I, think, I think we're developing a, a little bit of an identity again back in our run defense on defense. Uh, 
they went ball out quick. Um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the, the, the time of operation of their throw game as, as it went on, but a lot of their stuff was quick curls, um, quick slants, you know, one, two, three, hitch, throw a fade type deal. So a lot of it was just stuff where the ball was kind of out quick. Uh, they did hit the big one on the, on the, the explosive one on the touchdown drive there in the fourth quarter. That was against the pressure that we, we just, we looked like we were tired blitzing, just, and it looked like we were tired covering, to be honest, just with poor, poor defensive execution on that play. But, uh, yeah, they're a hard team to sack, a lot of max protection. Um, and on third down, they were just, you know, kind of just getting the ball out quick before we could get back there. What was your first question? The kicking game? Oh, the kickoff return? Yeah, the kickoff return. Yeah, there was, there was a couple guys. You know, you got, you got some promising young guys that are down there on, on kickoff coverage. Um, they go sideline return, so guys got to be on the left side of a block. We got a couple guys that come in on the right side of a block. Um, that's going to create a seam. In the back side, the safety uh, is supposed to roll back. And, and so if it does something, does spit um, to our left, you know, the right side of safety and, and, and Borg Gal should be able to get, the, get it on the ground. There's no right side safety to be found. So it was just three or four guys, and that, and that guy's like a 10-3 100 meter guy, Sun Belt uh, Conference champion, I believe, that, the guy that ran it back. So, um, combination of our guys not doing their job, and then a guy that can really roll. Uh, their wideouts are really good. They, they have three really, really good wideouts who would play in, for just about everybody in our conference. And uh, we just happen to kick the ball to one that, uh, and when we don't fit it up, that's what's going to happen. In terms of, you know, how you what you're talking about in terms of where we are through two games, I look at it where we are through today, uh, because really our present moment is where we at, where we're at. Um, we grinded out a win. We found a game to win where we didn't play well, like you say. But when you say you didn't play well, um, you still look at a lot of stuff. I mean, you still out, out gain this team by a bunch. We just didn't score. And that's our issue. What we've got to get solved from the last two weeks is that the biggest thing on our football team is that when we get the ball in the red zone, we've got to get touchdowns. And right now, we're not getting touchdowns. And not creating separation on a scoreboard. I mean, really, for a better part of a couple of quarters, we were really, in my mind, dominating their offense. Um, but through special teams errors, you know, the kickoff return, and then just not getting touchdowns on offense, it kept the game close. And when games are close, anything can happen. It come down to one play. Today's came down to a play. It happened to go our way. Um, but we've got to get better on our red zone offense. We've got to finish drives with touchdowns. We're moving the ball inside the 20s. Um, and we've got to eliminate silly, you know, a wide receiver not lining up on the ball on Cam Harris's touchdown on fourth and two. You know, I mean, you talk about guys that can make plays down the field. They can, but they got to know on this formation, I'm on the ball. That takes, some, you know, takes uh, four points off the scoreboard. It's been nice to have those at the end. So th these are things that are on us as coaches that we've got to get corrected uh, to give us a chance to, to, to score the way we think this offense is capable of scoring. Last two for you, Eddie. We'll go back to Tim Reynolds from the AP. Tim? Hey, Eddie, I'm going to ask you about the last year. I, I don't know if you've heard about the first game or not. It's packed. So I need to expand, you know, from the upper deck to that top like you came in. Did you hear anything about that post game? Were you briefed on that at all? Were you guys aware of the commotion in the back? I was just briefed be the figure that I might be asked. Tim, I appreciate your level of, of being almost embarrassed to ask. I, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm more curious of the wording of your question that you said the cat fell into the flag as if there was a the cat that everybody should know what cat that is that you're referring to as, as if there's just a cat that haunts Hard Rock Stadium. I don't know anything about that or what was going on. Um, but I'll tell you if the cat will help us in our red zone offense, I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can give it a scholarship. Yeah, I promise my, uh, my question is a nice cat. Um, what, man, you mentioned the red zone offense. What is, I guess, the biggest thing holding you guys back from that standpoint? You mentioned the penalties, but what's I guess, the number one thing you guys need to solve? Well, yeah. Kobe, without answering – up, oh, Kobe, didn't turn off your – there you go. Without, with, without seeing the film um, where, you, where you can see maybe some of the individual technique errors that might be getting us, um, you know, that we have had – just off, off, you know, memory, we've had penalties – you know, we get a 15-yard uh, OPI called on Harley. We took a first and 10. We, we take a shot. Should, at the minimum, it should be second and 10. Turns the first and 25 at midfield. It's hard to convert first and 25. You know, they're going to play a bunch of drop eight, keep the ball in front of them. Um, 
you know, probably more consistency in the run game. You know, it gets harder to throw the ball when you get down there close, and we got to get more consistent in the run game. Um, so there, there could be a lot of things. I mean, that's that's what we'll do tomorrow as coaches and find out where we're at because it, it, it would, I mean, it looks the way it looks. It would not have taken finishing many more drives than what we had down there to turn this game into a route. That's just the reality. And, and like I said, I wish I had the numbers in front of me of how many trips we had inside the 40-yard line, but to score, what do we have, 25? 25 tonight? To get 25 points when we had to drive at the two or three-yard line or whatever, to get 25 points um, with the time we had the ball inside the 40-yard line, just, just, that's just, that's not, that's not playing winning football. And that, to me, would have changed the outlook on everything else that occurred today. Um, no different than, like I mentioned last week. I mean, third down defense would have changed the outlook on how much everything looked in that game. Because if you lose the critical situations to a team like that, that's what's going to happen. And today, losing a critical situation of red zone offense keeps the game, keeps the game tight, and that makes it tough. Andy, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Congratulations on the win. Okay, thank you all.